What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen 720, and I'm back with another video. A lot of you guys been hit me in my inbox, asking, you know, what's my Skype info and all that stuff. You just go to my main page, you know, my channel. All my social uh, media information is there. My Skype, my Twitter, everything. Instagram, Facebook. Like I said, you know, I, you know, I, I'm, I accept everybody. You know what I mean? All I ask is, you keep the game. It's like, now nah, I don't give a fuck. We can talk about whatever. You want to hit me up on Skype? My Skype info is IA720. Follow me on Insta, me on Instagram too, and follow me on Instagram Zaire two thousand five. Uh, my Twitter is Zaire two thousand five. I'm starting to use my Twitter more. I post more videos also, but like I said, throughout the, the, the duration of the day, what I'm doing, what I'm up to, all I say right there, these little magic babies here are the devil. I've been high as fucking Elvis these last goddamn days. Ooh, you know what I mean? I'm just like I'm sick of taking fucking pills. I got oxycodone, roxycodone, you know what I mean? Get me wrong, this, this surgery has kicked my ass. You know what I mean? You may see me on camera smiling. Bro, when this, once the lights and the camera goes out, I'm in this bitch moping and groping. And this motherfucking crying. I had, uh, yesterday was the first time I slept in my bed. I, boy, I've been fucking laying on the couch, you know what I mean? Real talk, you know what I mean? But anyway, on to today's video. Um, I read a very, very interesting article, okay? Good news for all you Call of Duty lovers out there. I got good news and bad news for you Call of Duty lovers. It says that a new beginning of a new era for Call of Duty. And I will post a link in the description. Call of Duty not to be outdone by Battlefield. Because you know, like I said, I predicted that Battlefield will be the, the, lead, the winner of the next when it comes to next generation shooters next gen. It said the game developer conference today, Activision's uh, technical director, George Jimenez, has revealed their photorealistic... Yeah, photorealistic next gen engine. Ha! <laughs> Basically saying that they showed off their next generation engine. Now, I understand they showed it in motion. They have to have some still shots here, and this shit here looks beautiful. You guys have been subscribing to my channel for a while. I've been complaining about Call of Duty in that still ass fucking engine. It's time to change that shit, you know what I mean? Like I said, but anyway, this thing here looks realistic. Like I said, I would like to see how it looks in motion. But I will post a link in the description, you know what I mean? You know, it may look pretty and play like shit, you know what I mean? Like I said, I was blown away at the Battlefield 4 17-minute um, gameplay trailer. Like, it, it blew me away. But you got the Call of Duty, you know what I mean? The, the Battlefield haters saying, oh, it looks just like Battlefield 3. Nah, that shit, it looked beautiful. Now, with that being said, you know what I mean? Um, the bad news that they were saying that, you know, that... Well, I mean, it's bad news for, you know, PlayStation... Three and Xbox 360 owner, they were saying it's rumored that this new Call of Duty may not even come to uh, current gen systems. Now, maybe because of this new, you know, next gen engine that they're saying they're using, this powerful engine they're, they can, they're using, and that, you know, this should here, I know it can't be done on current gen systems, but just think about that. They're going to straight alienate 100 between the Xbox and the PlayStation 3. It has about a combined install base for about 150 million, give or take, you know what I mean? But the good news for Sony and Microsoft is saying here, that will be a big incentive for these Call of Duty, you know, fanatics to go out and buy these next generation console. You know, so they probably, Microsoft, believe it or not, Microsoft and Sony are probably sitting there like, yeah, yeah, do it, do it, because, you know what I mean, believe it or not, you Call of Duty motherfuckers want to get their fix. So if they're going to sell lock, stock, and battle their mama's ass, you know what I mean, they're going to get, get it so they can get this next generation Call of Duty. You know what I mean? Just now, like I said, me personally, I'm not even bothered because I'm not a Call of Duty fan. I, the last Call of Duty I bought was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 or something. Like I said, I just hate that fucking... Nah, the last, honestly, the last Call of Duty that I enjoyed was probably Call of Duty 4. You know what I mean? You know, you know, I'm just being real. I just, I just hate it. It's real arcade and gimmicky to me, you know what I mean? My thing is... They also they didn't give me no achievements for killing a line. That's why I hate it. Like I'm a big achievement whore. Like you get like a thousand kills and you get no achievements for it. You're just killing to be killing. But anyway, I'm about to wrap this video up. I will post a link in the description. You guys can check it out yourself. Also, too, if you guys were wondering what the next generation battlefield that 17 minute demo was running on, I'll post a link there also. It was running on the AMD 7990. So no, it wasn't running on the PlayStation 4. I heard people say in some videos. It wasn't running on the Xbox 720. It was running out. It was running on the AMD 7990. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It is what it is. But like I said, um, what do you guys think? And before I go, like you said, you guys know I got my new my PC here. And it's been some pros and been some cons. You know what I mean? 
Now, like I said, you have yet to play a game until you play the game with at least 1080p at 60 frames per second. Yeah, I'm not talking about overkill, 70, 100 frames per second. I'm just it's like watching a, a hot knife through butter. It's real smooth. Like, I was, I haven't really sat down to play anything yet. I was just, you know, sampling a lot of shit. Like I said, I've been in a lot of pain, pain lately. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe hopefully next week when I get these staples, I got like 40 staples in my shit, man. I, you know, it won't, you know, I'll be a little, a little more comfort, you know what I mean? But like I said, it's been some trials and error. You know what I mean? I just like, to me, I like the simplicity of console game. You sit down, you plug the bitch in, you know, and sit down and play. You may have an update or two. Like, you guys know 2K is my favorite game. I, you know, I bought a few games for the PC already it was on Steam before I got my PC. I went to, you know, to download and install 2K and shit, and it was telling me that I, now I got to download, it sent me the Microsoft web page, I got to download Microsoft Windows Visuals 2000. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, yo! No! Like, what the fuck is this? Like, God, you gotta keep the CD key copy. Like, come on, man. Like, to me, personally, if, you, if games are gonna be, like, oh, see, you take a service like Steam, all that shit should be patched, ready for you to go. You just download that bitch and let it go. You know what I mean? That's why I think console gamers were never going, hey, first of all, PCs are very, very expensive. You pay more up front, but I will pay, you know, cheap, lesser in the, in, the, in the long run. Like I said, games on PC, you get get a, a amazing game for like twelve, thirteen, fourteen dollars on Steam and Green Man Gaming. But all these patches send you to this website to patch this and no, nah, that's bullshit, you know what I mean? But anyway, um like I said, you know, I really like I said I'm about to wrap this video up and as I always say, bang bang. Ah! Holy dooly, let's bring it baby.